Namaste everyone, welcome back to Live Stronger. If your legs are still feeling a little bit tight and sore like mine are, make sure you foam roll them. Uh, if static stretching is uncomfortable, foam rolling can help. If not foam rolling, hand massage, if you have a uh, massaging gun, use that. Anything which basically massages the area to relieve tension from the fascia and also gets uh, blood flowing through. This will help the muscle recover better, given with that you have a good night's sleep and the nutrition is in place. So that's for recovery part. Now today we are going to work on our arms again. It is going to be the combination of biceps and triceps. Maybe we'll, uh, let's see if we can bring in a little bit of variation, one or two exercises here and there, but mostly it will be the similar uh, protocol which we are going to follow, wherein we are going to do one exercise of tricep bicep, then we're going to shift into the next exercise of bicep and tricep. Uh, there might be different approaches, uh, as you have seen in, the, in my previous videos, wherein I have done a superset. Uh, sometimes there are programs wherein they prefer doing either the tricep first or the bicep first, depending upon how the program aligns, it might or might not create much of a difference in terms of how you align the exercises, but it's more, what is more important is you get those effective reps, make sure the hypertrophy is there, make sure you get the blood running into the muscle and feel that pump. That is what more, uh, is most important. So on that note, without any delay, let's start with our dynamic stretches, our warm ups. For our dynamic stretches, we are going to start with our regular the greatest stretch. The reason I'm wearing my cap is because again I wash my hair, it will be all over my face. So just not to disturb me during my workouts. So let's get into the stretch. Make sure my I feel the inner thigh stretch. I try to go down, still not yet there, and then rotate up. The reason why I said still not yet there is because I've seen many uh, fitness experts or people who are uh, international level athletes, national level athletes being able to drop extremely low down because of the flexibility and mobility which they have. So maybe our target is that eventually reach there. So you can try going down all the way, trying reaching down and turn. But what is right now important is to feel the stretch, feel our muscles uh, open up, feel our joints mobile, get mobile. Do couple of more repetitions each side just to make sure we it's one more rep hardly takes a minute or maybe a two maybe a two minute drill so but extremely helpful in getting us ready for our entire day just shift into a deep squat to get my hips opened up for today yep that feels good so now let's begin with our warm-up exercises first warm-up exercise I'm going to do close grip bench press so close grip bench press using dumbbells uh, you can also do this on the smith machine if you would like i feel dumbbells is a pretty easier option so what i'm going to do is remember the bench press we used to do for our chest it's a similar one but this time we are going to just push up straight not bring our dumbbells together just push them up get our triceps activated and keep them in the same line of motion all the way through. So in chest, we used to go a bit out and bring them in here. We are just going to keep the dumbbells beside our chest and just push them up straight. 
So let's begin. 15 to 20 repetitions. Make sure your wrist remains straight. There is no uh, reason why it shouldn't. The primary action of our tricep is to get our elbow straight. So here we are loading that action. So you should instantly feel your triceps being loaded. Keep going. Also remember that most of the push motions which we do in the day, you know, pushing a door or pushing across a small load is primarily done by your triceps. Your chest comes in very late unless until there's something which you're pulling or pushing uh, towards the midline of your body. Shoulders come into roll only when something is being pushed above your eye level. So my triceps are already feeling tired. <laughs> That's a good warm up. Let's keep going. Five more repetitions. Oof. Good. That was a good tricep activator. Now for a warm up, it's not, there's no written rule that you know these particular exercises are warm up. Warm up is basically trying to get blood flowing into that muscle. Uh, move, moving the joint which would be involved the most in the particular exercise while working a particular muscle through the range of motion so that the joint also starts uh, you know you also make tension uh, blood flow into the tendons so this gets the uh, entire muscle and the joints involved ready for the exercise so any motion which relates to the exercise which we are going to do can be a warm up. So I won't take much of time there. Now let's move on to our bicep warm up. So warm -up. for our second warm up, we are going to do the bubble curls uh, using a empty, empty easy bar. Uh, for the first part of the warm up, we are going to do partial repetitions wherein we don't completely contract our bicep, neither we let it Six. go completely straight. Seven. Keep it in between, getting a lot of blood flow in. And once we feel the tightness and tiredness in the muscle, we slowly shift into the full range of motion. Full range of motion. Making sure our bicep throughout the uh, warm up exercise is full of blood. I like this warm up. This can actually be a proper working set, but I like it as a warm up because it gets my uh, biceps really warm and uh, extremely contracted a lot of good blood flow and good amount of pump which good I can warm -up. use later it's more for first exercise. so for our first exercise I am going to do uh, overhead tricep extensions using a dumbbell and I'm going to use the Arnold Arnold's 21s so seven repetitions half the range of motion seven repetitions the other half of the range of motion and seven repetitions full range so for the first seven reps i'm going to do just uh, down to mid for the next seven top to mid by mid i mean wherein my elbows become at elbows are at 90 degrees throughout this time my triceps are under tension now for the last seven i do the full range of motion where i let the dumbbell completely drop behind my head and then push it up this this feels amazing. Yeah, I I love doing the twenty ones. And they get a good amount of muscle pump for me. Now for the second set, I increase the weight a bit. I'm trying to show you how it looks from the front, from the side. Maybe in the next set, I can place the camera behind me so you can see how exactly it looks from the behind. 
for the first seven reps it you feel pretty strong because you're only re moving the dumbbell just from the bottom to the top at a uh, stretch tricep position and when the moment you start doing the full range of motion wherein the dumbbell goes completely down and completely up is when you start feeling the uh, pain kick in this muscle gets tired so for the third set I'm using the same weight because the weight which I was using the previous set felt challenging enough as you can see the dumbbell is completely down my tricep is it is it completely stretched out just move it midway and come down again for the first seven reps for the next seven reps top two midway and for the last seven reps full range of motion this exercise can also be done using a cable extension if you have uh, that machine at your disposal i don't have so i'm using the dumbbells and that's it we are done with our first exercise for our first bicep exercise i'm going to do the incline bicep curls both arms at a time here you can see my legs are elevated from the ground that's because of the bench which i have it doesn't allow me to put my feet down because of the width of the cushion so i put them in the air but otherwise you can keep your feet down i really like this exercise because here my uh, my bicep is at a disadvantage by being behind my line of body and from here when i have to contract it's more amount of work my bicep has to do so 12 repetitions first set at a good challenging weight we have done this previously so after a short break for my second set the one thing you have to make sure is that you keep your elbow movement to minimal never let your elbow come beside your body let the elbows always be down so that your bicep is constantly at a stretch and you feel the maximum amount of contraction in your bicep you would also feel a exaggerated stretch on your front delt or your uh, or just below your shoulder that's where your bicep that's where the bicep muscle is originating so you'll feel a great stretch there really gets a lot of blood flowing in and a good uh, pump for my last set increase the weight just a bit moved up to 7.5 you don't have to lift extremely heavy here good amount of challenging weight is quite enough and during the third set i realized that my right arm was getting more tired than my left arm could happen one of our arms could be stronger than the one than other one so what i do is i give a break to my right arm midway and try to get few extra number of repetitions with my left arm just to you know equalize the uh tiredness in both my arms you can do that to get few extra reps sometimes it could also be the mind muscle connection which you have better in one side and a little bit less on the other side so that's absolutely fine and we are done with our uh bicep first exercise now for our triceps second exercise i am going to do tricep kickbacks now this exercise can also be done using a uh using cable uh cable machine wherein you can kick the cable back those are wonderful they give you uh, quite a good feeling because of the strength curve because there's constant tension but here i don't have that so i'm going to do it with dumbbells so to make it challenging with the dumbbells i am using an incline bench to lay down on my chest this way i i don't have to worry about my core stability or the way i'm leaning forward i'm relaxed i can all my focus it is about keeping my elbows behind my body as much as possible and just uh trying uh, trying to kick back i don't know why they call it kick back but i'm uh, trying to throw the dumbbells as far as behind as possible and feeling that good tricep contraction so my starting position is always with my elbows pushed back as much as possible and then from there 
I extend my elbow to feel that tricep contract. I think you can see it very minutely how my tricep is contracting under my t-shirt, the way the tricep muscle is uh, moving up as my elbows extend. The weight here is quite minimal, nothing extraordinary because if I go any bit heavier, the, my elbows start dropping down then it defeats the purpose or you know I lose the extra amount of contraction I'm getting by keeping my elbows behind the line of my body. For my last set, still keep going. I Throughout the exercise I was feeling a good amount of contraction so I would suggest you do it in the similar manner where you, you take chest support and get maximum uh, uh, contractions on your tricep and the don't have to worry about I don't like it leaning down or doing it standing because then I'm trying to also balance myself here I'm completely relieved about balancing that's it we are done with our second tricep exercise so for my uh, second bicep exercise I'm going to do the hammer curl variation which I'm doing right now wherein my, I'm facing my palms uh, down to the floor and I'm bringing the chest across my chest uh, sorry I'm bringing my arms across the, my chest really like this variation because I feel more contraction in my forearms and in my biceps than the regular hammer curls if for any reason if that's not the case with you you can continue doing hammer curls but I would suggest and recommend to try this variation because it gives a good contraction and good amount of pump in your muscle pump is basically blood flowing in a lot of blood flowing in to that muscle because the muscle is being demanded to do a lot of uh, you know work so blood starts flowing into the muscle to give it extra nutrition energy and oxygen for the muscle to work efficiently that's exactly what a pump is that's how your muscle gets bigger while you're exercising a lot of uh, blood flowing in to that particular muscle so for my second set I have increased the weight a little bit because I was feeling strong biceps were looking good I was trying to push really hard and get most amount of contraction as possible and just about failing there so I keep the weight down take a couple of seconds just shake it off I don't know why I'm shaking it off because I don't know if it really works but just shake it off and finish my repetitions remember there's not much here you can cheat with so it's absolutely fine uh, in terms of lifting heavy because the way you're moving the dumbbell across your body there's not much you can cheat with so that's second set now we go for our third set again I uh, increase the weight a bit as you can see I have just changed the angle so that you can see how the dumbbell moves across the body instead of just up down this one comes across the body you feel better contraction in your forearms I also uh, like how this particular exercise uh, goes a little bit easier on my uh, wrist and on my elbow joint because of the uh, ray, you know how the way it is positioning my wrist comfortably at a slant position instead of absolutely straight 90 degrees uh, or just in a pronated manner so it's natural for my wrist so for our next exercise we are going to do our forearms I'm going to work on our forearms I have previously shown this exercise how we do it simply use a single arm hook I mounted this on my lat pull down machine on the least amount of weight you can do this on the cable machine too simply let your arms completely open just hooking on with your fingers only and when you want to work your forearm you just roll your fingers in trying to touch your pinky inside your uh, on the inner side of your forearm that's it you should instantly start feeling the contractions in your forearm the more you try to get your pinky finger down the more contraction you feel
they almost feel like they're about to cramp, but that's fine. Just a couple more reps. And that's it. Now we shift, second arm, same thing. You have to make sure that you leave the hook just till your finger, uh, just till your fingers tips. So from there, you roll in and try to get your little finger touch the inner side of your forearm. Anatomically, not possible, maybe for few, I don't know, but that will get you the most amount of contraction. Love this exercise. It's very safe on my wrist joint, but still works a lot on my forearm. Remember, we don't have to uh, work our outer side of our forearm or the upper side of the forearm because we have just done, uh, done a variation of hammer curls, which actually, uh, you know, works a lot of our forearm, especially the outer side of our forearm and the muscle which goes and inserts uh, underside of our bicep, just the outer side. So this side of the muscle has been worked on. So that's the reason we are trying to work more on the inner side now. We don't have to necessarily take a break in between. Our forearms tend to recover very quickly. And while one arm is working, the other arm is resting. So more reps you do, the more rest you get. My hands are shivering. Let's go, let's go for the other arm. That's about it. That felt good. Uh, the other way to do a forearm exercise if you don't have the setup. So for the last set, I'll do, I'll do that one just in case if a uh, few of you don't have this particular machine at your disposal or any kind of cable machine at your disposal. We can also do it with free weights. So I'll show you that. Don't have a cable, uh, cable based machine. You can use a barbell or a couple of dumbbells to do the forearm exercise. Again, not putting any stress on your wrist. So you can take the bar behind your back, right? And then I hope you can see this. I only will know once I start looking at this video on a bigger screen. So you just, same tip, let the bar sit on the tip of your fingers and then roll up and try to touch your pinky finger, or the little finger on the inner side of your wrist. As simple as that. I'll just step a little bit forward just in case it doesn't come in the frame and later on zoom on, zoom in. So still working on my forearm. You can simply load this exercise by putting weights on the bar. So it wouldn't be much difficult. Like this variation too because my forearms are not restricted. My wrist is free to move. There is no extreme amount of stress on the joint. And that's it. As simple as that. We are done with our exercises. So we are going to do our static stretches now. If you remember, I have done this earlier. I'll just move the camera a little bit at the angle so you can see it better. Yeah, so I have done this during my static stretch video and I have done it in my previous bicep video also. Take a bar or a bench, whichever is comfortable. Put your arm on it. Now your bicep is once you get your arm straight, your bicep is already stretched. It's at a, uh, not stretched, but it's at, a, uh, at its neutral length. When your arm is straight, it's not contracted. 
and your bicep is attached at your elbow, so that's a fixed point, you're keeping it straight, and it's at attached at our shoulder. So when I get my shoulder away by moving my entire body away from that side, my bicep starts feeling that stretch. Now, since I'm pulling my shoulder away, my bicep is trying to stretch hard to control this motion from happening. So, you can turn your arm a little bit this way to feel the stretch if it is not yet happening. So for me, it's right there and I feel it. So, I stay here for 15 to 20 seconds. The entire bit about static stretching is simply extending the muscle by moving one of its uh, area, either the uh, insertion point or the origin point away from one of the insertion or the origin point. So, if you are uh, keeping the insertion point uh, static and moving the origin point away from it, the muscle still stretches. So, right now my bicep originates uh, from my shoulder joint and inserts at its elbow joint. So, I am simply keeping my insertion point stable and straight and then moving my origin point away. So, that stretches the muscle. I will just shift the camera so you can see the other side. So, just put it here. GoPro looks, makes you look weird, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, so again, my right hand, hold on the bar, get it straight as much as possible, and then slowly turn my shoulder away from my bicep. Just move my arm a little bit to feel the perfect stretch. There go. So, whenever you are doing any kind of stretch, it might not be the stretch which I am showing, it might be a stretch which you have previously learned or seen. Uh, imagine the cue which I have just explained. Muscle has two points, origin and insertion. You have to keep one stable and uh, you know attached, not attached, basically fixed, uh, yeah, I was looking for the word fixed and the other point, either the origin or the insertion point, you move away. So, the muscle then stretches. You hold there for a few seconds and that feels good, that felt good. So, you might be seeing people doing this, this action, this is also the same, uh, you are basically keeping your shoulder a little bit fixed and then you are trying to overextend your arm, but this particular stretch I do not like because this is the maximum amount of uh, stretch you can get on the elbow because the elbow cannot go any more lower. So, I like to move my shoulder away because shoulder is way more mobile when it comes to the bicep. So, now let us stretch our triceps a bit. So, stretch again multiple stretches, but you can simply use this one. Your triceps get contracted when your arm is straight it goes neutral when your arm is uh, basically, when your bicep is contracting because there are two opposite muscles. So, I keep my arm folded on the bench on the edge and then slowly pull my back as far behind as possible away from my elbows. So, the moment I do that, I feel my lat stretching and the stretch slowly transferring to my tricep. Uh, any other kind of stretch, particular tricep stretch, I do not feel them much. So, it might be a different case for you. You might feel, you might not feel this stretch as effectively. So, if there is a stretch which you like to do for your tricep, please do that. Important part is that we stretch post our exercise. If it is uncomfortable, make sure you massage them before stretching. This particular stretch is primarily focused on your lats, but the good part is your lat muscles and your tricep muscles, not exactly, but kind of 
are connected. So, when you get your arms behind your head or try to get them, your head, your triceps and your lats both of them are at a, are at a stretched position. Yep, that felt good and we are done with our static stretches. And that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today's workout was short, uh, short and simple. We had two variations for both the muscles, but I believe that we got most of it. We have done our curls, we have done our hammer curls, we have done our tricep extensions and tricep kickbacks. So working on all of the muscles, the complex muscles. We have done our forearm work and then we did our stretching. Uh, I'm trying to get the workouts more compact and more uh, exit, uh, where you can execute them in a shorter period of time. So let's see how it goes. I'm also trying to lift a little bit heavier. If that's not the case with you, wherein you're still trying to build the confidence and the energy or the strength to build, uh, lift heavier, it's absolutely fine. Stick with the weights where you're comfortable, but make sure that the weights which you are lifting are challenging you. Don't uh, hesitate to level up because when you level up is when you know how strong you have grown and then if it doesn't work there's nothing wrong you can put the weight down take the lower weight and continue but if you never step up you would never know how strong you have become so always challenge yourself make sure the 10 12 repetition range is challenging so it, at least we get an assumption of how stronger we are getting slow uh, slowly so i feel a lot stronger now on my uh, biceps and triceps primarily because I like them. Everyone likes to have big hands. So on that note, I'll not take much of your time. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like this video and the workout, please do uh, like it. And uh, if you have any feedback for future arm workouts, do drop a comment. I'll, uh, that'll help me in terms of programming it or considering your feedback, customize it a little bit towards the audience. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. That will be a lot of positive feedback for me. Thank you and you have a good day.